Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tanks Gaming. Today we start a new series, Frostpunk. I bought the game when it released and never played it. <laughs> I was going through my library uh, because of also of the summer sale and everything. And was just looking through and then I remembered I bought it. And that, I think that was shortly before my last surgery, knee surgery. And then I just didn't have the time before the surgery. And I kind of forgot that I owned the game. And so, yeah, I bring you along to my first tries. We are going to start with a new home. I watched a couple of playthroughs from different YouTubers, um, especially from uh, Keralis. Uh, I really enjoyed the, those ones. Uh, who was the second one I watched? Sky Still Plays? I don't remember. I, I remember uh, I remember the playthroughs I watched off from Keralis. Uh, and yeah, it looked very interesting. That's why I actually bought the game when it released. So I hope I remember enough of it so I do not um, mess it up too hardly. Let everything die in the, in the first try. I really hope to do rather well-ish. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. Rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class, we have lost our world to snow, and with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Okay, to that I say, why the hell you go north when it is cold? When you are cold? I, it looked like London in my eyes, so it would have made much more sense to go south across the channel. Uh, because you could see them, they were going across water with the sunken ships. Um, and go through France or through Germany or whatever. Uh, further south, either to the bottom of Italy, if it's there still frozen, keep on going south, closer to the equator. Um, I guess it will still be warmer there than up north. Uh, in my opinion. <clears throat> oh yeah, it actually said we fled from London across the sea to reach the frozen north. Why? <laughs> Go south. <laughs> Ah, frozen solid, okay. Let's try to survive here. Uh, if the sound is too loud or not loud enough in the first episode, I'm really sorry. Or the first couple of episodes, I'm really sorry. Well, not actually the first. I will check the recording after this, this episode. Uh, and then we will see what we can do. 
Uh, we need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it will freeze to death. Stockpiles on coal and start the generator. Okay. Uh, coal. Do we have some coal somewhere? There we have some coal. Um, max it out with some workers. And over here as well. This is also coal. This is metal. This is wood boxes. And this is metal as well. This is coal. Actually, instead of here, go here. That seems to be closer. Ah, oh, we already do this one. No one over here. No one over here. Did I send them over here? No. Um, here. We still have 20. So you're going here, yeah. And another 15 go here. And then five of you go here. I like it. You can see them walk through the snow. Looks rather nice. Uh, there we have some walking through to the wooden barrels and stuff. I really like the look of this game. If you zoom out above the crater. Also, wouldn't it be much colder in the cr I mean, okay, it's, it's, it, it is uh, protected of wind. I, I can see that. But wouldn't it be much colder in the... Um, in the crater than outside? Because it kind of dumps the coal in here. Okay, we have stockpiled nearly 100 coal. So let's start the generator. Uh, level 1. Oh, we actually have to stockpile 200 coal. Okay. So maybe I shouldn't have started the generator that early. But we did. Uh, this is kind of the tutorial mission, so I'm, I think... Or at least at the beginning here, it definitely should be. So I'm gonna wait for the next mission, what the next mission will be. I like it that you have kind of uh, the heat circle here. Uh, is it O? Yeah, you can see where the, where it is warm-ish. Uh, comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, freezing. Uh, so far we don't have a freezing spot. Well, we haven't built anything else, I guess. That's the reason why. It's livable in here. And the generator itself, it's comfortable. That's by hitting... Oh! You're also making quite a bit of wood. We're making very, very, very little of steel. But that's okay. I don't think I need the steel right away. Uh, we have, at the moment, 80 homeless. So I guess as soon as we reach the 200, I actually have to start and build um, living spaces. You can also stop the time and advance the time. We could go a little bit faster here. There we have to reach 200 coal. The generator burns with, with a reassuring me, reassuring warmth, but we should take it for grant. Shouldn't take it for granted. The city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. How now? Food. There. There'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cooking house to prepare meals. Okay. So the building. Oh no! Why were you going still super fast? Now it's game speed is normal again. We can build tent, we can build a medical post, we can build a hunter's hut and a cooking house. I think the cooking house actually doesn't need to go in straight in the middle. I think the cooking house could go outside. But we have the wood uh, resources, a gathering post. Um, yeah, let's actually build a gathering post over here. And let's build a road out to there. Uh, which one is the road? There is the road. Um, kind of build it straight down to here. So they can build a road and then we can put, put be 10 people in the gathering post for working. Um, and also I want to build a hunter's hut. Right, food. Hunter's hut. Uh, let's build it... That's... Can you get out over there? You actually can, beautiful. Because I think the Hunter's Hut doesn't need to be in the heated area, if I remember the Let's Play I watched correctly. Of course there is a high chance that I misremember and you actually need to heat that stuff. And uh, the cookhouse, I think the cookhouse actually has its own warmth. Uh, where will be the road? Let's wait for the road. 
Oh, over here will be the road. Yes, build the road. Uh, build the cookhouse over here. I think that will be good. Oh, there is something to uh, no roofs over our heads, Captain. People are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. I'll provide some shelter. Uh, I have two days to provide shelter for 40 people, or I'll have two days to provide shelter for 80 people. Uh, I think we can do it, so let's go for the 80 people. And actually go for the people and build the shelters. So one here. Whoops. Probably should have hold shift. Oh, I'm actually out of wood. You're still collecting wood here, right? Actually don't, you're all building stuff over here. Like the road and stuff. Uh, I'd rather you be building wood. Ah, it is nighttime already. I see. That's why is nobody's out collecting stuff. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, we facing demands. Remember that the people usually look to the quickest solution, not the best one. You do. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for it. You will fix the problem your way is fine. Okay, so we don't have to accept all the requests they have. I like that they cleared out the nice little way over here. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make a nice complete circle here, I guess. Which is stupid. I can probably not fix any, fit anything in there. We will see. Well, it's night anyway, so nobody is really... Well, they're building. But nobody is really working anywhere. Uh, people from our convoy. We basic, With basic resources secured, for now we can try to rescue people we left behind. Build a beacon, okay. Normal speed. Uh, of course I can't do anything. Uh, instead of you five here... I want actually five of you in here, and instead of 15 over here, I'm gonna put the other... Oh, we actually need 15 in here, okay. So none of you here. All 15 of you here, so we will need all the hunters we can get. I can actually reduce five of you to put them in here as well. They should collect steel and coal in this vicinity, so that should work. Uh, I do need the uh, wood though, so yeah, I'll reduce this one by five, by further five, and put the max over in here. Actually, I have 15 engineers available, yeah, yeah, you do this. And you can stay at the maximum, and I have five people not working right now. Oh, I already have a first sick per person. But yeah, we need the wood, and for the wood, it's one o'clock in the morning, let's see. I think they, that's the hunters which are leaving, which is good. And I think at six o'clock in the morning they start working again. Right? Yeah, that's the illness, I know. As soon as I have wood again, I can work on it. Uh, standard meal, yeah, that the engineer should come in and do that. Um, we have a little bit of steel. Will you start working again, please? Jill! Critical shortage! The number of sick is rising. Yeah, I know that. Open the book of laws. Oh, beautiful. Uh, I can do emergency shifts. I can do child labor or child shelter. I think I will need child labor over here. We can also go into the uh, go fighting area. Or soup, food additives. I add uh, add uh, sawdust into the food. Radical treatment or sustain life. Um, child la child labor, safe jobs. Yeah, let's go with the child labor, so we can actually assign children to do stuff as well. Um, actually, all ten children in here. And then here we can get 15 more of you guys working. It should be good. Uh, 15 guys are working over here, that's good. Uh, go, go work. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, guys. Go to work. 
there, still 15 on this wood pile. There's another wood pile over here, huh? I have 10 engineers we could do some stuff with 5 children. Yeah. And you can say a uh, day 4 uh, temperature will drop significantly. Again. I like it. You guys are going back to go back to work, which is nice. You guys are going back to work. What was it? 8 o'clock. They go back to work. Good to know. The hunters are out at the moment. You are cooking food, which is nice. The raw food is being produced into food rations. Uh, yeah, that's actually beautiful. And as soon as you gather some more wood, I will be able to build more houses and an actual medical post. I need 25 wood for the medical post, which we will put in immediately. Because that one definitely needs to be heated. And then we need more wood for the houses. It's 10 wood per house. Okay. Oh, where is the actual beacon? Uh, resource depot gathering tech is the tech workshop. 15 wood and 2 steel. Food, health. I think I need the tech workshop before I can do uh, the beacon. Um, yeah, build a workshop, build a beacon. But I definitely gonna build the houses first there we go two more houses and then another another house over here how many people do you fit in a house 10 10 20 30 40. So I need eight of the tents. Well, houses, shelters. Tents, yeah, it is tents. Yeah, one more of those, that's good. And then instead of the engineers working here, uh, none of you, go back and start building the, the tents. That would be rather helpful. Uh, another tent over here. Yeah, you're collecting a ton of wood here. I like that they put the burning the, the barrel and put some wood in there for some heat, some warmth. Uh, you're collecting coal, very nice, and also iron, very nice. Although there's not a lot of iron left, I guess. Or is this the amount you I have? No, I think that's. I think that's the amount which is left there, huh? At least the, the coal get went up to 20, uh, 270, nearly 300, which is nice. Uh, we have a little bit more wood, so we can build the two more tents. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, yeah, that's actually enough for everybody. You rotate the camera, by the way, by holding either the middle mouse button or Q&E. Uh huh. That's looking okay-ish. Yeah, a few rash rations. Uh, workshop, tech. The workshop we can actually put right next to this one over here, which is nice. That is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so soon they should come back and start working on everything. So the workshop is getting built. Uh, gathering post. I don't need another gathering post. Maybe another hunter's hut? I don't really have the people for that, though. And I can't really send the people out. Uh, I can't send the children out for hunting. I probably can use the children in here, though. Zero available. Five available. Five of five. Yeah, I can use the children in the cooking hut. Very good. Which means we have a couple more engineers. We will need a couple engineers in here then, though. Right? A fifth, yeah, I have 15 engineers not working. We definitely need a couple engineers in the medical post. And we will need a couple of engineers in the workshop. I, however, don't know how many that is. And let's let them build up the stuff. And I tell you what, guys. For a first episode, that's actually not looking too bad. It's... My time again, so 6 o'clock in the evening, all the people are coming back. Nobody is, is working anymore. 
Well, not, not, out, not outside, so they're not gathering any more wood, they're not gathering any more steel or coal. But they will all start and help to build up this stuff. So I tell you what, guys, that's going to be the end for this episode. I'm gonna let them build up everything and bring you guys back for the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my next episode. Video. Bye-bye.